Item number SCP-3890. Index. Forget me not. Object class. Keta. Special containment procedures. Due to the nature of SCP-3890 and my current situation, I am unable to enact containment procedures. For the time being, I will focus my efforts on exploring SCP-3890 and the anomalous phenomena it displays. Description SCP-3890 is a potentially extra-dimensional or extraterrestrial space which I, Dr. Elizabeth Graham, was somehow transported to from Site-22 on 02 At the time, I was transporting template documentation for the containment of several other SCP items, but I do not believe that they are related to this anomaly. Similarly, I am uncertain as to whether I was transported here due to my involvement with the Foundation. In terms of geography, SCP-3890 takes the form of a seemingly infinite desert plain, with ruins of different architectural design poking out through the sand. I have noted the presence of buildings of modern design, along with what appear to be ruins of ancient Roman and Arakeshian structures. Exploration of these structures has shown that they are mostly empty. I am unsure whether this is by design, or if they were looted at some point in the past perhaps by a specimen of SCP-3890-1. SCP-3890, from what I can tell, goes through a solar cycle identical to that of Earth. Perhaps this location is not extra-dimensional or extraterrestrial, but some location on the Earth that remains hidden, perhaps through some form of antimimetic camouflage. It's warm during the day and cold during the night, nonetheless but never to an uncomfortable degree. In that way, it is very much unlike an actual desert. SCP-3890-1 is my collective designation for the humanoid entities that wander through SCP-3890. They do not respond to any stimuli, and, so far as I have been able to tell, simply walk around without a specific destination. I have observed several of them simply walking in circles around buildings. Is there meaning to this behavior, or are they simply unintelligent? At this point, I cannot be sure. Like the buildings, specimens of SCP-3890-1 appear to originate from a range of locations and times, some modern, some ancient. I have recovered a knife from the pocket of an SCP-3890-1 specimen, so I can defend myself to a limited degree, if necessary. Additionally, specimens of SCP-3890-1 do not defend themselves when attacked. Autopsy of one specimen has shown no differences between the anatomy of SCP-3890-1 and normal human beings. To my mind, there are two possibilities here. Specimens of SCP-3890-1 are entities which have been created to resemble humans. Their mindless nature is the result of an imperfect creation. Specimens of SCP-3890-1 are humans, which have been mentally altered in some way to rob them of their faculties. So far, it appears that individuals within SCP-3890 do not experience hunger or thirst. I have been here for three days thus far, and feel pretty much the same as I did when I first arrived. I cannot be certain, however, whether I no longer need food and water, or simply believe I do not. As I've come by no food here except SCP-3890-1, I very much hope the former is the case.